To view or edit a signal flow graph, double click on the sound. This is a simple graph showing samples from a generic source flowing directly to the output. The generic source represents samples streaming in live from the input, from the RAM of your sound computation engine, or from the disk of your host computer. To play the sound, use Control Spacebar. And in this case, you just hear my voice going straight to the output. Control K stops the sound. The prototype strip contains one of each type of module that's available in Kima, so it's a good place to start when you're looking for modules to help build up a new signal flow diagram. When you select a category on the left, the modules in that category are displayed on the right. To search for a prototype, use Control B, as in befuddled or bewildered. To insert a new module, drag it and drop it onto the line. Now you hear my voice going through the heart of the sea. You can drag new modules into your signal flow diagram from the prototypes, from a sound file window, or from the sound browser. In the sound browser, I have a tabla sample selected. Audition by pressing the play button at the top of the sound browser. To replace the generic source with the tabla sample, drag the tabla and drop it directly onto the generic source icon. Now let's search for an FM prototype. To create a parallel branch, drag the new module into the signal flow graph and drop it onto the plus sign. This creates a mixer of the harmonic resonator and the oscillator. To share the same input in two places, hold down the Option key and drag the input into the Inputs field of the mixer. Double-click in the background to update the display. Now you'll hear both the dry and the processed tabla. <laughs> Click on the ellipsis to reveal the input or hide it again once it's been revealed. You can select and listen to each sound along the path. The LFO is sub-audio, so we can't hear it. But we can go to the Info menu and select Oscilloscope to look at it. Now you see the LFO increasing and decreasing in value. That is controlling the amplitude of this sine wave oscillator.
which is, in turn, controlling the frequency of this oscillator. Let's look at the spectrum this time instead of the waveform. As the amplitude of the modulator increases, so does the bandwidth of the frequency modulated oscillator. The Kima signal flow editor is more efficient than a connect the wires type editor. Each operation requires fewer steps. And at all times, you have a well-formed graph that will make sound. Let's review. Starting from the generic source, to search for a prototype, use Control B. To insert, drag and drop on the line. To replace, drag and drop on the icon. To add, drag and drop on the plus sign. To share an input, hold the option key down as you drag the input into the inputs field of the mixer. To toggle between hiding and showing the inputs, click the ellipsis. Pretty easy, right? <laughs>